judging aesthetics. Everyone was outside, because today, there would be an event. That's right, today's Class 1A's costumes would be judged by the kids of the house. The three judges, sitting at a wooden table located in front of a stage, were Shiroku, Kiba, and Nara. The other kids were also watching, sitting on the grass nearby, along with Kiba's viewers, through cameras set up by the vampire girl and operated by Fu and Izuku. Welcome everyone! To Class 1A's costume display, Kiba shouted. Today we will be judging them based on the aesthetic of their costumes. Joining me today is my wonderful tailor and sister, Shiroku. Hello! Shiroka smiled at the camera, very excited about this. As well as our shape-shifting friend Nara, Kiba introduced. Hey, Nara still wasn't used to being on camera but wasn't opposed to it. The three of us will rate each costume on a scale of 1 to 10, Kiba explained. So without further ado, let's bring out our first contestant, Yuga Aoyama. And with that, Aoyama walked on stage, clad in his sparkling armor and cape. Voila! So, what do you think? Aoyama asked in his vaguely French accent, flaunting himself on stage. The three judges took a real hard look at him, before speaking. It's so, gaudy, Nara said. But at the same time, it kind of works? Yeah, if you put that one on anyone else, I would say it looked terrible, but on him, it works. Shiroku added, which actually makes it even better. I like the Shining Knight theme, Kiba said. It adds to the hero feeling you're trying to portray. Overall, a very good start. The only real complaint I can make is that it may be a bit, too bulky? Shiruka said, seeming a bit unsure of her criticism. But the design itself is good, if only for you. 8 out of 10. I'll give it a 9. Kiba decided. Knights are always cool. I'll, just go with 8. Nara decided. And that brings your score up to a 25 out of 30. A good start. And hard to beat. Kiba praised Aoyama, whom if you looked hard enough you could literally see his head getting bigger. HM, bien sir, j score a leave. I sparkle, Aoyama said proudly, before walking off the stage. Was that French? What did he say? It translates to of course I score high. Is this guy French? Well, he's definitely unique. Doesn't that armor get hot? Alright, next contestant. Shiroka called out. Mina Ashido. Mina ran on stage, and posed, making sure everyone got a good look at her costume. Tata, what do you think? Awesome right. Once again the judges paused to think. I, I think I really like it. Nara said. Like the guy before, I don't think it would work too well on anyone else. Her alien appearance matches the strange colors and clothing. It makes her look like a superhero who came from a different world. And the mask is a really nice touch. Yes, that is exactly what I was going for. Mina said with a huge grin on her face. Well, you did it well. I agree with everything Nara said but I really want to say I love the colors. Again, it adds something that says, this is Mina's costume. Shiroku added, it's so strange, Kiba said, still looking at her curiously, but a good stranger. 8 out of 10. I think I'm gonna give her a 10. Nara said, I really like this look. A 9 from me. Well done Mina. Shiroku applauded her. That puts you at our new highest, at 27. Congratulations. Never thought pink skin could look so attractive. Or horns for that matter. You know she's still in high school right? Future alien waifu. When can I buy merch? It's a bit too weird for me. Yes. Thanks, kids. Mina said, before exiting the stage. Alright, next we have Tsuyu Azui. Shiroku announced. Tsuyu walked on stage, making sure everyone could see her costume properly. Not being as showy as the last two. The judges took another good look at her, before speaking. It definitely gives off the vibe of a frog hero, Shiruka said. I look at her, and I instantly know, her quirk has to do with frogs, and that she's great underwater. So it's a complete success on that front. It's super cute. Which is weird, because I never thought frogs could be cute before, but, it just is. Nara said. And I love the way she does her hair. I know it's not technically part of her costume, but it really puts the whole outfit together. She looks like she belongs on a team. Kiba judged. Like she would look really good on a poster, standing side by side with other heroes. Well, I give her a, I'm gonna go high and say an 8 out of 10. Nara said. She made me see frogs differently, so that has to count for something right? Yes, that is very respectable, and it does carry a very superhero vibe to it. Telling you everything you need to know just with a glance. Shiroku added. 
but at the same time, it also doesn't pop out like the last two. If you put her in a crowd of heroes, nothing would make her stick out among them. So for that, I have to lower it to a 7. Hmm, I can see that. Still very easy on the eyes, and makes good use of the frog theme. 7 for me as well, Kiba added. That brings the score to a 22. Not bad, but the lowest so far. My apologies, Sue, I do rather like you, but I must stay objective. I will never look at frogs the same way again. Agreed. She's so cute. It's okay. I'm happy with that score. Sue said. She really wasn't aiming to be super fashionable anyway, so it didn't bother her all that much. And without a fuss, she bowed and left the stage. Now for the fourth contestant. Tenya Ida, member of the Ida family, and younger brother in Ingenio. Shiroku introduced. So I'm expecting something similar. Ida walked on stage, with his helmet on, displaying his costume for all to see. I hope this costume is satisfactory for both the judges and all those watching at home. After a few moments of staring at Ida, the judges spoke. I like this much more than your brother's costume. His feels a bit, much. But this is more simplistic. And I like that it's a bit bulkier too. If I saw someone dressed like that running at me at the speed of a train, I would be afraid for my life. Shiroka said. It makes it seem like getting kicked by you would be like getting hit with a car. Yeah, it is very car-like, Nara added. I'm not sure I like how bulky it is actually. If you're supposed to have super speed, then why a suit of armor? Well, the armor is actually very lightweight, Ida said. It's not as protective as one would think, it's more built to guard against wind pressure than a villain's attacks. Well, I agree with Shiroku. The power displayed in this outfit is amazing. Look at those huge legs. Those are villains kicking legs. Kiba said. My only issue is that it's a bit too white. Yeah, yeah I was thinking the same thing, Shiroka said. MMM. I'm stuck between 7 and 8. How about 7.5? I think I'll go 8, Kiba announced. 6, sorry. I may be biased because of XLR8, but when I think of speedsters, I think of Slim. Nara judged. So that brings down the score for me. Sorry. There is no need to apologize for your opinion. Ida reassured her. Looks like Ingenium but small. Looks like a transformer. Is he a robot? Anyway that brings the score to a 21. Sorry, Ida. Kiba told him. As I have said, do not apologize for giving your opinions. I will take them in stride. As a hero should, Ida said, before exiting the stage. Alright, coming up next is a familiar face. A wonderful soon-to-be hero, and our potential future mother. Achiko Uraraka. Shiroku introduced. No I'm slash she's not. Shouted both Achiko and Azuka simultaneously. Achiko, now red-faced, walked onto the stage. You guys. Putting that aside, I have to say that I love the colors in her costume. And the way it shows off her figure. Don't you agree daddy? Shiroku asked, looking at Izuku off to the side. I I am not a judge. Please just continue. Izuku said, his face also bright red. Well, personally, I am also a huge fan of pink, white and black. Especially with the helmet. It looks extremely cute. Nara judged. The belt was also a nice touch. The space theme is subtle but present, Kiba noted. However, judging this aesthetically, it's a bit too broad. It lacks the same uniqueness that was present in Aoyama and Mina's designs. It stands out a bit more than Sue's, but not too much. Maybe I'm biased because my favorite color is pink, but I don't see much wrong with it, Nara said. 10 out of 10 from me. 9 out of 10 from me, Shiroku added. Hmm. 8 out of 10 from me, Kiba decided. That puts you at 27. Tied for first place with Mina. Oh surprise surprise. Mina snickered on the sideline. She really does look good though. The future of female heroes looks bright. Again, still in high school. And she's taken. Thanks, guys. I sure hope you all were objective and didn't rate me so high because you like me. Achiko told them, before stepping off stage. Alright, now it's time for our next contestant, Mashiaro Ojiro. Shiroku announced. Ojiro nervously walked onto the stage, not used to having this much attention on him. Hmm. Well, it's rather, simple, Kiba said after looking at it for a minute. Kind of plain. But I do like the fur on your shoulder, and those shoes are probably the best part. Shiroka noted. But why is the fur on only one side of your shoulder? It's such a strange choice, and I don't think I like it. It's just so, plain. It's fine but, meh. Nara shrugged. 6. 
Yeah, I'll give him a 7. The shoes bring it up a bit. Shiroka said. Saying. Sorry instructor, but I need to give you a 7. Kiba said. That brings your score to a 20. It's about what I expected, Ojiro said, rubbing the back of his head sheepishly. I'm, not exactly flashy. He's so, ordinary. Is his quirk just a tail? It's just karate gi. Alright, next contestant, Shiroka said as Ojiro left the stage. Denki Kaminari. Yeah, Kaminari ran on stage, proudly showing off his costume. Give me what you got. All three judges gave him a good hard look. Well, it certainly has a good aesthetic. As well as containing an element of uniqueness. Shiroka said. But, something's missing. It doesn't look heroic enough. Kiba said. It just looks like everyday clothing. It has style, but if I look at you I wouldn't think you were a hero. I mean, yeah, but otherwise it looks great, Nara said. I think it's a pretty solid costume, even if it may look a bit too much like ordinary clothes. 8. I'm sorry, but it's too non-heroish. 7. Kiba judged. MMM. The other qualities raise it to an 8 for me. With the lack of hero ascetic bringing it down, Shiroka said. So that brings your score to a 23. Ah, man. Kaminari sighed. Eh, at least it's not the lowest score. Man had the drip, but not the plus ultra drip. He looks like the kind of guy to steal your girl. I think he looks great. 10 for me. Simp. Alright, next up is Ijiro Kirishima. Kiba called out. Kirishima ran out onto the stage, and flexed, showing off both his costume and his physique, as well as activating his quirk. And here is an amazing hero costume. Kiba said almost immediately. Red and black is the ultimate color combination. And the design itself is just wonderful, and it works even better on him when hardened. The lack of a shirt shows confidence in his toughness and lack of fear. And the headgear makes his hardened face and teeth even more intimidating. And the rugged cape around your pants is a lovely touch. You look like a battle-hardened berserker. Ready to take any and all of an enemy's blows before striking back with your own. 10. Immediately. 10 out of 10. The other two judges were taken back a bit by Kiba's enthusiasm, but after a few moments, they spoke their own thoughts. Well, it definitely gives off a tough vibe. And when you're hardened, it looks very intimidating. It's striking. But I'm not 100% sure I love the arm gear things. But at the same time, I'm not sure it would work without them. It's very solid, well descended, and unique. So overall I give it a 9. Shiroku judged. Hmm. It's pretty good. Not sure I love the shoes, but it's definitely a good costume for a hero. Nara said. 8 out of 10. Well, I think those scores are too low, however, that brings you to 27, tied for first place. Kiba said. Very well done. As expected of one of my fans. Thanks, Lady K. Kirishima said. This dude is ripped. You could grind meat on his abs, good lord. Hi, schoolers. Dude, why are you even trying? Simp's gonna simp. Kirishima ran off stage, where Mina was waiting. Nice job Kiri. High five. Mina said, holding up her hand. Yeah, Kirishima high fived her. Horn buddies. Alright, next we have Rikido Sato. Shiroka cued. Sato marched on stage, flexing his muscles to show off his costume. And the judges looked, unimpressed. It's just a yellow jumpsuit with white gloves and boots. Shiroka looked disgusted. First off, why yellow? And why that shade of yellow? Very few things look good entirely in yellow, and that shade is just gross. Also, there is nothing to break up the yellow. Aside from the gray belt and the white gloves, neither of which go well with it. It's just so boring and ugly to look at. Ugh. 3 out of 10. And only because it at least looks like a hero costume. Oh. I'm gonna get roasted like a muffin. Sato winced. I mean, yeah this is not great. 4. Nara said. Kiba sighed. I apologize for this, but I must give you a 2. This results in your final score being a 9. If it makes you feel better your cooking skills make up for your lack of fashion sense. Yikes, Sato said. I knew fashion wasn't my strong point, but geez. Oh wow, they roasted that man. Get the burn cream. Fast. Ouch. Moving on from, that, Shiroka said with a bit of distaste. Miso Shoji. As Sato moved off stage, somewhat embarrassed by the tongue lashing he received, Shoji walked onto stage, presenting his costume. You see, this is much better. Simplistic while also being easy on the eyes. 
Shiroka said, The use of blue and indigo is a very good choice given how easy they are on the eyes, and the gold complements both those colors very well. It also looks very unique to yourself. And it looks just out of the ordinary enough to seem hero-like. 8 out of 10. Hmm. I don't know, it's easy on the eyes, but it's also very simple, 7 for me. The gold keeps it from being overly simple. Kiba said. I agree with Kiba. It's fine. 7. Nara shrugged. That brings up the score to 22. Not bad. Kiba said. Shoji shrugged. I tried to pick soothing colors given that the rest of me is, not as easy to look at. Ah. Poor boy. What do you think is behind that mask? Hashtag smash quirkiest. Looks hot to me, big boy. Encouraging, but inappropriate. High schoolers. Yelling into the sun man. Shiroki gave him a sympathetic look. It's okay. We all understand. Shoji nodded, as he exited the stage. Alright, moving on we have Kyoka Jiro, Kiba announced. Jiro tepidly walked on stage. Trying to seem cool and not be nervous about being judged in front of a huge audience. The three girls just stared at her for a minute, before speaking. Isn't this similar to Kaminari's costume? Kiba asked. Eh? Jiro wasn't expecting that response. Actually, yeah, Nara said. Black, popped collar jacket, shirt, black pants. It's all the same except that your boots are different, you have fingerless gloves, and the shirt is a different color. And also the speaker things on your hands and boots. Huh. Somehow I never saw that. Kaminari said over on the side. Are you two dating? Shiroko asked. No. Jiro shouted in a panic. I mean I wouldn't be opposed, Kaminari said at the same time, winking at her. Sue, please slap him. Jiro said, her face now fully red. Whack. Ow. Kaminari was knocked into the dirt when Sue's tongue hit the back of his head. Thank you, Jiro said, trying to regain her composure. Meanwhile in Mina and Shiroka's head. Potential ship? Sundara X idiot. Well, I think I like it a bit more than Kaminari's but just a bit. It shares a bit of the same problem where it just looks like clothes you could wear on a date. Kiba said. 7. I like the pink more than the white shirt, so I'll bump it to a 9, Nara said. I'll keep my score the same as well. 8, Shiroka said. Very fashionable, not very heroic. That brings your score to a 24, Kiba said. She's extremely cute when she blushes. Hi hi Shulis. Interesting quirk. Once again the future of female heroes is looking bright. Jiro walked off the stage very flustered as Shiroku called out the next contestant. Next we have Hanta Siro. Siro walked onto the stage, his helmet hiding his expression, as the girls looked at him and judged. After about a minute, Nara's eyes widened as she came to a realization. Oh, your helmet's a tape dispenser. Oh, that's what it is. I knew it was something. Shiroka said. That makes sense. Overall you did very well with the tape theme, given that it's a very odd theme to go with. And the colors are great too. 8 out of 10. I still find the tape theme a bit odd to get over, but your handling was satisfactory. 7. Kiba judged. I think it's a fun look. 8. Nara judged. That brings your score to a 23. You should be proud of yourself, it's a creative costume. Thanks. Siro gave them all a thumbs up. It's so weird. Tape man. Tape man. Does whatever tape CA. Have you ever noticed that tape is one letter away from you know what? What? Moving on, the last contestant, Kimikich Tokoyami. Kiba said. Tokoyami walked on stage, and stood there, as Dark Shadow came out of his cloak. So, so, what do you think? Hmm. It's just a black cloak, with some black clothes under it. Nara said, seemingly underwhelmed. No, no don't you get it. The cloak gives a mysterious and powerful feeling. He hides a beast underneath. One so powerful he won't need to lift a finger to defeat you. And that costume conveys that point very well. Kiba explained. Although I wish it had a bit more flair. So I'm going to give it an 8. I see where Kiba is coming from. But I do feel it's a bit too simple. Shiroku added. 7. I think you two may be overthinking it. But it's not bad to look at. 6. Nara shrugged. That brings your score to 21. Not bad, but you could have tried a bit harder. Shiroka told him. Told you we should have added a popped collar. Dark Shadow told Tokoyami. By the darkness no. Tokoyami shuddered. Edge. Inert Kingdom Hearts joke here. Brooding teen phase intensifies. Oh look Shadow the Hedgehog turned into a bird. And that is all our contestants. Kiba said to the camera. Now this is not all class 1A. 
Not all of them were available, and a few of them didn't want to compete. But these are all of our contestants. Tied for first place we have Achiko, Mina, and Kirishima, Shiroku announced. The three of them high-fived, smiling brightly at their shared victory. Next in second place, we have the Shining Knight. Aoyama, Kiba announced. Though my medal is silver, it still shines. Aoyama said, taking it as well as he could. Lastly, in third place we have Jiro. Shiroka shouted. Jiro's face was still red as heck, and Kaminari gave her a thumbs up, and she pointedly looked away from him. As you can see, the future of heroes is bright, Kiba said into the camera. Almost none of them go below 20. Really bringing down the curve Hasato, Mina said jokingly. Hey, I'm a hero student, not a fashion student. Sato laughed it off. So everyone please keep cheering them on. At least until I get to the UA and overshadow them. Kiba said. That's the end of today's stream. Thank you all for watching, and have a wonderful day.